Hello everyone, and welcome to the Telecommunication Engineering Laboratory 1. Today, we will start the first lab, which is about the introduction to Ebona Teams. Teams stand for the Telecommunication Instructional Modeling System. It is a flexible trainer that allows you to do many experiments in telecommunication. At the left hand side here is what team looks like and at the right hand side here is the module that you can insert it to the block of the team. In this lab, we will learn how to use the basic module of the Imona team, including the master signal module, the PC based instrument input module, the buffer amplifier, the adder module the variable DC module, multiplier, fret shifter, tunable low pass filter, the VCO module, and the last one is the spectrum analyzers. The first experiments, you will learn how to use the master signal module and the PC based instrument input module. On the left hand side is the master signal module. In this module, you can generate the message with the 2 kHz frequency or you can generate your carrier with the 100 kHz frequency from here. And in the middle is the PC based instrument input, which is basically used to display your signal on the oscilloscope. You just put your input signal here or here and connect your output to the oscilloscope and then you will get the signal on the oscilloscope. In experiment one, you may try to connect any signal from the master signal module and put it into the PC based instrument input to display your signal on the oscilloscope. The experiment two is the buffer amplifier module. The buffer amplifier is basically used to amplify your signal. So you just, just put your input signal here or here and you will get the output signal here. You can also adjust the gain of your signal from the tunable here. So in the experiments, connect the circuit following the figure two and display the signal from the amplifier on the oscilloscope and then see how you can amplify your message. In the experiment 3, you will learn how to use the variable DC module and the adder module. For the variable DC module, it can generate the DC voltage you can get 5 volt DC here or you can get the varying DC voltage from here and you can adjust your DC voltage from the tunable here and in the middle is the adder module where you can add one signal to another signal you can also adjust the gain of each signal from using the tunable here in the experiment 3.1, you just try to do a summation of two messages. And then in the experiment 3.2, try to add the DC voltage to the message and see what happens. The next module is the multiplier module, which allows you to do a multiplication between two signals. In the experiments, connect the circuit following the figure 4 and then try to multiply your message with the carrier and see what you observe. The next one is the phase shifter module that you can shift the phase of your signal. In the experiments, just try to shift the phase of your message. And the sixth module is the tunable low-pass filter module. It is basically the low-pass filter. 
in this module, you can adjust the frequency band you want by using the tuning bar here. And please see the frequency range from the data sheet. In the experiments, just try to pass your message to the low pass filter and display the output of the low pass filter on the oscilloscope and see what you observe when you adjust the tuning bar here. The next module is the voltage control oscillator. By using this module, you can generate a signal that you can control the frequency of your signal by using the DC voltage. In the experiments, use the variable DC module as an input and put the DC voltage to the input here and you will get the output here. And then see you have see how you can control the frequency of your signal when you adjust the tuning bar in the variable DC module. The last experiments you will learn how to use the spectrum analyzers. The spectrum analyzers is the equipment that you can display the spectrum of your signal in the frequency domain. So in the experiments, use the signal you get from the VCO in experiment 7 and pass it to the spectrum analyzers. And then you use the spike program on the computer